same way that you can gain presence to whether you are being manipulated by the media, um, whether that's news or you know a clip you see online, whatever's in your feed, a podcast um, that has like a very kind of biased perspective, especially um, is to just start noticing the sensations in your body because um, what, how propaganda operates uh, and conditioning and programming and everything through the media is that they tell narratives that activate significant emotional events in our nervous system. So you'll notice it because you'll start to feel fearful and maybe angry, rage, <laughs> hostility, blame. Maybe you'll be blaming other people or maybe you'll feel I'm worried about being blamed. I'm worried I'm going to be seen as a bad person. Or maybe you just feel emotionally activated, like very empathetic, which is beautiful, right? Or guilty or shame. So basically they create these narratives and you know, the same way stories do, right? You watch a movie, you have an emotional reaction, you get really invested. The media uses the same techniques to derive specific emotions to create specific behaviors because they know that 100% of people on this planet have been traumatized. They have trauma stored in their body unless they've done clearing work, unless they've done shadow work, release work, breath work, uh, you know, any of these kinds of things, EFT. And they know that all of us, pretty much until you start bringing conscious awareness to this stuff, you're not, you're acting out of autopilot. You go into a fight or flight kind of mode uh, where your, your body's just acting in a fear response, like a danger response. Like, I don't feel safe. This emotion makes me feel not safe. And then usually what we do is we seek to negate, minimize, get rid of that emotion. And sometimes that's by, oh, I'm scared. So now I'm going to post something online, right? Or um, I'm scared or Often one of the biggest fears for people is, is being, it's like a primal fear that dates back, you know, centuries, uh, being kicked out of the tribe because when we're kicked out of the tribe, we can't survive on our own. Like back in the old days, now we can, but there's still that feeling of like, if I'm not connected, if people don't, if I'm not safe, if people won't take care of me, if my friends disagree with me, if I have the wrong opinion, then I won't have support. So the media knows this, the people who control the media know this. So a way to notice if you're if they're doing this to you, if they're manipulating you, and they do it to all of us, by the way, every single one of us has been conditioned. We've been inadvertently conditioned by our parents, like they're not doing it on purpose. But we take on their beliefs, we have emotional responses because of our childhood, and then we carry that in our nervous system, and then we're programmed by the media and society and like very rich people who want to do want us to believe certain things about the world and about ourselves, very disempowering narratives about ourselves. And so these become activated uh, by the media, by news, by narratives. So if you start noticing your sensations in your body, the next time you're scrolling, you're watching something and just notice and breathe into it, take nice deep breaths and just allow it to come up, just surrender to whatever the feeling is, just feeling safe to allow it to bubble up and ask yourself, what am I making this mean about me? This is the most important question you can ask yourself if you're triggered Nice deep breaths. What am I making this mean about me? And then once you've sat with that and allowed that to come up and just maybe realized, oh, this is like a deeper narrative. This is a deeper narrative. Like I'm not worthy. Um, I'm not safe to be this way. I'm not safe to be that way. And just sitting with it and allowing it. And then start asking yourself, who benefits from making me feel this way? What kind of behaviors might somebody want to elicit by creating these emotional states inside of me and other viewers and other listeners. This is just one way to gain a little bit of awareness to how the world works.